both mates, welcome down to Chalkamardi. Right, now it's me again. I've come up with an idea because something happened the other day where I had too much decision. I pulled out a free wood from really a shot wood I'm not going to pull out loud a much. You ready? And I put it in the poo poo because I had too much decision. Now, I never, never had a free wood in my bag. I want to try this CB Korea best shot. You ready? And got up a big score. So, what I've got here now, I've done this at West Lanks ages ago. I brought six clubs out. Just a minimal set, very simple, thinking, can I score well? Just being simple. So I brought my drive, four iron, six iron, eight iron, pitching wedge putter, and a 60 for the bunkers. So really, I've, got, I've not got much decisions. I'm gonna have to play with what I've got. I don't know if I'm gonna score any better, swing any easier, or sometimes on shots might be swinging too easy, I've got not enough club. I don't know, but what will know, I won't have much decisions. Now some say, I am not intelligent. Some say my spelling is like a child. Some say my handwriting is like somebody who's been in Witherspoons for 17 hours with 400 pounds in his pocket. All I know, I want a stroke five, 390 yards, and I could have picked an easy hole to start with. But I am what I am. I'm a seven handicapper on this course with my index, and I've got a shot here. Let's play three or four holes, small clubs, very simple like my mind. And uh, Jim. Do you think I'm going to play better with half a set of clubs so I've got less choice? Because some say I'm stupid. Would you say I'm stupid? Yeah. <laughs> so that's Jim there, highly intelligent bloke, and he's calling me stupid, so I must be numb. Right, I'm on the ninth, but it's a one way to find out. Fire a ball down the fairway, I hope. What am I going to score? Four rolls, half a set. What am I going to score? One over, that'll be good. Two over could be good. We're going to play stroke five, stroke 10, stroke two, Stroke 14. So two over would be fair. Let's find out. Right, come on, let's finally get going now. I've had a warm up hole, and uh, let's just say it's a good job it worked on camera. Might be one of them days, but. I've got one foot camera. I've got Jim. He's seen a lot of golfers over here because he's been a green keeper a long time and I've got four members of Jim, man from Del Monte, what's he said? That was brilliant. Oh, oh. The man from Del Monte did say yeah, but Jim must have watched a different advert. It's a pineapple advert, you don't remember it? The man from Del Monte, he said yes. He said yes. But Jim said brilliant. Right, golf mates, I've started. I'm in the fairway. Right, golf mates, 150, I've got an eight. I cut it the six, but I'm feeling eight. I feel I'm going to hit one good here now. And it's just going, oh, oh, could I just viciously gone right? That might be in the old bunker. But I thought that were all right, quite happy with that. The old strike, happy with that. No Dennis Law. I've lost my draw from the old uh, Rassard Keimer. But there's one thing with this little set, it's easy to walk, it's absolutely brilliant. Someone said that we could live forever. Right, so actually a little bit short, or was it if it was straight? There's one thing, if you hit a six iron, I would be in the bunker. So I'm looking at that, and I'm going to hit my little pitching, but I tell you, this half a set is so good. It's so good for the half a set. Yeah, I think pitching wedge, three quarters of the way there, and it should hop, skip, tickle, tickle, bish, bosh and run near the hole, I think. That's not bad, that's not bad, that checked up near the end. But honestly, this is light as anything. Imagine if you finished work and you went out for nine holes, is this the future, just a few, you know what I mean? Could be, could be, could be. Right. It'd be a bonus if I parred this and that drive deserved a par. Maybe rush my second shot. The excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm going to ask you a question, and a serious question. Would Kevin Nair give you that? Probably not. Right. Oh, it's hard to see. Is it a left or right, or what? I'm going to... Sorry about this, I'm just... Uh... I should know this putt, I've been here for ages. I'm going to go for my first instincts. I'm going to do this one, controlled aggression. 
I'm going to put it with controlled aggression. I really am. Boom! Controlled aggression. That is the way to put a controlled aggression. Go past the hole a little bit. Oh, God, Jesus, Jesus, bloody thing. <sighs> Need a nickname for this, I really do. Right, par three. So that is level par on stroke five. Happy days, so where's this pin? Oh, white flag. I've got to go over the bunker. Have I got a club for this? I'm going to have a yardage this. Right, I'm happy with that. Got a tricky one here. But it's all that, I mean, I should put my head cover on because they'd probably shout at me, giving me a free driver. Didn't pay for it, they give it to me. Right, par three. 165 yards downwind. Oh, I don't know now, downwind, downwind. Let's get the ball down. 165, playing 155. I've got the eight or the six. Eight time will get me. Front half at green, maybe middle at green. Six could get me big. Winds die down. Decisions, decisions. My brain's not really activated here. I said I didn't want a decision. Now it's eight or six. I'm going to go six. I think it's six. I think I can't go massive because of that backstop. So, and the wind's changed actually. I think it has. It's gone that way. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. Right, let's get this draw swing going. And I've blocked it out right. That's probably put me that now without being funny. Position Z, unless it's run and run and run past the bunker and I've got an easy chip. But I think it might be time for Zen magic. I think it could be a lesson time. It's been a it's been a struggle with my hands today. I've just not been until I watch it back, I don't know if I'm lifting my hands, but it's just not been uh, Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Well, golf mates. That is called position Z if you want a par. There's no way I'm trying to pop it over that bunker. No way. I'm going to go right and just go from a four because I've got a bonus par in stroke five. I'm just going to pop it on the right. And if you're wondering where that buggy's there, full of clubs, that Sky Sports Joe put it there for no reason whatsoever. Bite, 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 stay on the green. Do you know what? Let's be straight, we'll take that. Why would we take that? Because I've short sided me. I'd... That iron shot, just terrible. I was scared of going bloody left because I know this out of bounds on the left. And these excuses are getting better this year. I'm going to try with some more. But we've called it now. Controlled aggression. I want controlled aggression on this putt. A little bit right to left, controlled aggression. A two pull do me, it'll keep me where I want to be. And it's not broke. I've put it, in fact, it's gone that way actually. Never mind. Never mind. I think, let's be honest, the tee shot deserved a bogey, didn't it? It really did. Look what I've lost. I lost my glove. There's one thing I haven't lost, my turn on the tee. I'm on my own today. How good are them four mics? How good? We've got everyone working today, but I'm going to give you a top secret information. Next week I'm filming with Dave the Rave. I'm filming with, you ready? Roy Brown. I am also filming with somebody who's got a tee. Uh, <laughs> I'm also filming with, you ready? Peter, yes, Peter from Golf Mates Travel. And uh, I've got a tea. Who else are we filming with? Young Man Josh. Now, this is Dave McKinnon's bag, and what I've just seen inside there, you're going to laugh your head off. I've seen a Mars bar, and I think I'll be having that for my breakfast. Right. Let's get a good swing on. I had a good drive a minute ago. Stroke two, 423 yards. Right. Get that swing path right. Come on. Let's get it over that bunker. Smooth, slow, put the power on. Lay it. It's not my best that, you know, it's a weird swing. It's down the middle, it's gone over the bunker. I, I think that is a, 
a good baden. But, as the song says, smooth operator. Or oh, I could call me bedpan. But what I will say, it's brilliant this. Look Mars bar, Dave's. That's why he's a bit chunky at the moment. He's etty, that's he's left me just wrappers. Well, there's one good thing about Dave the Rave. It's a picture in there. He's not a litter man, he always picks it up because he puts it in the bag. Oh, the cheek of the man, cheek of the man. Right, golf mates, here's one for you. If you're starting up golf, take all that decision making, shall you hit like three irons, two irons, four irons. I know I've got a four iron here, but this is a great setup. Right, I said I didn't catch that. I'm just not swinging well today. It's just is what it is. That's 200. Pins it back, which is about 210. Four irons, the longest club I've got. So, really, a nice shot will get over that first bunker. And if I can keep it left, it could run on or it could be a midi shot. But it's a club I've picked. But I want to get that swing on. I, just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to set up for a draw now and try and do this. Pretend we're at tower links. Come on. Oh, that might be better. I might be doing wrong. Oh, look at that. All wrong. But it's going to get away with that. I mean... I mean, let's be honest now, that was a bad shot, it really was. And the good thing is about this channel, when I'm playing well, you see it in my swing, I'm nice and fluid, and at the moment I'm not. But, because I hit a four iron bad, I'm in play. Imagine if that were a three wood or a five wood, I went for the green and put that swing on, I would be in the poo poo. It's food for thought that, my score's probably going to end up better because I didn't have a five wood, because that swing with a five wood, would have been over there with the ducks and the prawns. Well, there's no prawns in fresh water in England, maybe in Asia. So it'll be with the crabs. In fact, there's no crabs in the river all day. It'll be in with the uh, crayfish. There's probably crayfish, but if not, it'll be in with the fishes. I mean, what a bad shot that were. Do you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm like I'm saying, if that would have been a five wood or even run to your more club, it would have gone in there. Right. A time chip and run. Got a long way. Right. Come on. I'm gonna concentrate. If I can get a par eight, it's another bonus. That could be very, very good. Don't slow down there. Oh, it's turned the wrong way. I had a feeling that might go that way. Okay. You ready? You ready? We've no nickname for it yet. But OMG, that's hot. That's hot. You sexy thing. I believe in miracles. Where you came, you sexy. All right, yep, I can see it now. It's definitely left to right. So, yep, and in fact, I could have given that a bit more. That's, that is, uh, this is a big left to right for the start of the putt. I think I'll be happy with a two putt here. Right. Wow. I think, uh, I think I've got someone else's glasses on. <laughs> what can I say? Right, controlled aggression now. Controlled aggression. Controlled aggression. Whoa! Scramble to five. Well, it's stroke two, so my handicap says I should be bogging it. Whew. Good job I've got half a set in it, because otherwise that would have been a six or a seven. Last all, I need to par this. It has to be a par, and then I've done my target two over to my handicap. God, I need to start picking easier holes, Mr. Harrison. Easier holes. Right, we have got 340 yards here, but it will play a bit longer because it's cold. It's very cold today. Right, golf mates, here we go. We want a nice par. Now let's finish with a big juicy smile. Fighting par, come on. Fighting par. Fighting par, let's start this downswing slow and follow through. Come on. Fighting par. Oh, look at that. Have that, naughty man. Now that should run and run and run and run. Did I say fighting par? No, no. <sighs> tweety, tweety, let's have a birdie. Yes, yes. No one back, no one back. Slow backswing. Slow down swing helped. Look at that. Gratis. Coming from America, that's freebie. Right, come on. We're having this now. Half a set. It's good fun, though. It really is good fun. 
Really is. Right, golf mate, it's gone in a little bit of a fluffy lie there. We have got 68 yards. Now I'm going to hit wedge. I've got my 60, but I just, I don't like it in my 60 full. I never have at all, unless I've got to go over a tree. So I've got my pitching wedge. I'm just going to do a little dinker. Par is our friend, as well as being cheeky for a birdie, but par is our friend, okay? Remember that when you're on the course, par is your friend. Or maybe a birdie, that could be the right number, that. Don't run on. Par is our friend. Oh, you know what I'm gonna sing now? Shabba! <laughs> Get this putter out. It will work now, it has to work. Oh yes, yes. Finish on a high, which is one better than I said. So if I box this in, and you've got to be super confident, I'm going to try and be confident. Luke, Obi-Wan says, go in the hole. Go in the hole, Luke. It's trickled on a bit more, but I will still take that. Right, I'm plugging our ball markers from Northern Goal. Northern Ball Markers, signed Liam Harrison. If you comment below, and you're still watching now, ball marker. They've given me four, you see. So if you comment below, I'll give you one if you want it. If not, there's a link there at the website. Right. Oh, the song sings, oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Right. I've worked out they don't break as much because they're a bit woolly. So I'm thinking here. Still not got a nickname from a putter. And we do like nickname. I might call it sexy thing because it is sexy. And it is a little bit taller than the other putter, so that's why I like it. I think it's a 36 incher, I think. Ready? Controlled aggression. Well, I think I might have started out the wrong line. So I'll blame me that, should have gone to Specsavers. Right, golf mates, hope you like the video. I've told you it's coming soon. Peter Finch, the plus one handicapper, Dave the Pro, Dan Gavins, young man Josh, and Roy Brown. And hopefully we can get Shaggy back, but also we will be having OMP. So, golf mates, thank you for watching. Comment below, ball marker, and you'll be in a draw. But you have to be a subscriber to win, so make sure you subscribe. So a lot of people's happened over the last few months. Notifications have gone off, and also, YouTube have unsubscribed you. So just double check if you've been subscribed. Click that there, what we're pressing. So golf mates, simple golf, half a bag. I enjoyed it. I would think if you finish work doing nine holes, get a pencil bag and just use six, seven clubs. Golf mates, God bless, keep strong. Ireland, hope you're out soon. I'm William Harrison, we'll see you soon.